Lay out all 11 parts, including 12 plastic hardware pieces, along with 12 Velcro tube straps and one Velcro battery strap. Stand the chassis side panels upright parallel to one another, with the bottom edges almost touching. Install the seat and nose pieces simply by setting them in place. Once they are in place, separate the bottom of the side panels, locking the seat and nose piece into place. Before installing the battery tray, it's a good idea to install the Velcro battery strap located in one of the two plastic bags. After the battery tray is locked in place, install the two floorboard pieces. They simply slide through the slots on the bottom of the side panels. The floorboards are made to lock together. Now it's time to install the plastic hardware. Turn the go-boat upright to install the plastic hardware. The plastic nut is recessed into the top side of the floorboard. Slide the plastic bolt through the two holes and tighten finger tight. Repeat this process with all six holes in the floorboard panel. This is extremely important because it will lock all of the parts together. Now it's time to install the tube. Remove the tube from the plastic bag and drape it over the chassis. Make sure the inflate and deflate valve is directly behind the seat. Place the tube over the seat first and then stretch the tube over the nose piece. This will take a little effort to stretch the tube over the nose. Now it's time to air up the tube using the bellows foot pump. Screw the tube hose into the inflate side of the foot pump. Attach the correct valve on the other end of the tube and place it in the Boston valve on the tube. Make sure only the top half of the Boston valve is open and not the deflate valve. Finally, it's time to start sending air into the tube. This process takes around two and a half to three minutes, depending on how fast you're pumping air in. Use enough air to take out the wrinkles in the tube, making it tight and firm to the touch. When you think you have enough air, simply remove the tube connection and screw the top of the Boston valve back on. Now it's time to attach the 12 Velcro straps to the tube. This process is easier to do by standing the boat upright and lacing the Velcro through the floorboard slits. Simply put the Velcro through and pull from the top side of the floor panel and attach the Velcro strap to itself. Repeat this process 12 times working your way around the boat. 